Okay, this video is going to show you the truth about Isaiah 53. Isaiah 53 is about two people, and I'm going to establish that with two other Bible verses, with two other Bible chapters, verses in the two others. Um, we're going to start with, this is from Psalms 89, and we're going to start with 20. I have found David, my servant. With my holy oil have I anointed him. If his children, we're going to go to 30, if his children forsake my law and walk not in my judgments, if they break my statutes and keep not my commandments, then I will visit their transgressions with the rod and their iniquity with stripes. So now let's get into it. Isaiah 53, Who hath believed our report? And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant, and as a root out of a dry ground. He had no form nor comeliness, and when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And we hid, as it were, our faces from him. He was despised. And we esteemed him not. Surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. For the chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes we are healed. So this is... The first in Psalms 89 was to establish that he is from Judah. He's from Judah. And with his stripes we are healed. Um, let's go back up to this right here. Then will I visit their transgressions, transgressions with the rod and their iniquity with stripes. Okay, so with the stripes we are healed. Because they're fixing this person. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned every one to his own way. And the Lord hath laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and he was afflicted. Yet he opened not his mouth. He is brought as a lamb to the slaughter and as a sheep before the shearers is dumb. So he openeth not his mouth. He was taken from prison and from judgment. See, when, when it's talked about judgment, judgment is a good thing. Judgment isn't like, you know, he was taken from, let's say, you know, from getting his butt beat because he was naughty or something, but he was taken from the good judgment, like the judgment. And who shall declare his generation? For he was cut off out of the land of the living. The land of the living is going to be basically heaven on earth. For the transgression of my people was he stricken. Because his people didn't accept him. And I'm not talking about the one you guys call Jesus Christ. I'm not talking about him. And he made his grave with the wicked and with the rich in his death, because he had done no violence, neither was any deceit in his mouth. Yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. Remember Psalms 89. He had put him to grief. When thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin, he shall see his seed. He shall prolong his days, and the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hands. He shall see the travail of his soul and shall be satisfied. By his knowledge shall my righteous service justify many, for he shall bear their iniquities. Therefore, here comes the part that you need to see that Psalms 53 is about two people. Therefore will I divide him a portion with the great. And I'm going to talk about that in just a minute. What is the great? What does the great mean? And he shall divide the spoil with the strong, because he hath poured out his soul unto death, and he was numbered with the transgressors, and he bare the sin of many, and made intercession for the transgressors. And who is the great? And at that time, Michael, 
shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standest for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. And the book is in chapter 11 of Isaiah. I suggest people read it. When they talk about the wolf, the lamb, the, the leopard, the lion, the bear, all of them, all of them animals, so-called animals, them are all people. They're just given nicknames. You have to have an understanding of what it's talking about. But this was an explanation of Isaiah 53, and then it's actually about the two Mashiachs. The two Mashiachs, one being from the line of Judah and the other one being from Joseph. You have the Lamb of God, which will be in the present, not somebody that died on a cross 2,000 years ago. And it's also about Michael the Great Prince, and Michael the Great Prince and this man have a destiny together. And this is on the present. And if you pay attention, and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time. And at that time, thy people shall be del delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. What time is it? Think about it. We have the coronavirus going on. We have all the protests. Black Lives Matter. We have, you know, the, you know, the economy. Think about it. We're in that time, people. It's time to wake up. This is an explanation, and it's true. As I stand before, hey, hey.